If you're serious about becoming better at soccer, I want to show you how I went from a bench warmer to a game changer. I'm going to show you how I transformed my game, became a standout player, earned personal awards, and finally got to a point where I started feeling valued and appreciated by my team. And more importantly, I want to show you how you can do the same. This is not going to be like other soccer training tutorials, but if you're serious about improving, this is one you want to watch. If you've been watching lots of tutorials, but you're not playing well, improving fast enough, or getting the results that you want, it might be time for a real discussion because more drills are not going to help you if we don't discover what is really holding you back. I didn't solve my problems and overcome my pains in soccer by getting better drills. I want to show you what actually helped me. My name is Dylan Tooby. I've helped players all around the world improve faster and achieve more in the sport of soccer. I have a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I privately train players and coach teams. I've earned a college scholarship and even played for my national futsal team. But today I want to explain the story of how I went from failure to success. From quitting my college team because the coach didn't want me, I was stuck on the bench, underperforming, and soccer was bringing me more stress than joy. Looking back, that was my lowest point in soccer. I was humiliated and embarrassed but it actually ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me because it forced me to go on an amazing personal journey of soccer development. I was able to transform myself into a player who actually made a difference in games. I came back to get the revenge on my coach that overlooked me and the team that thought I wasn't good enough to play. I became the top goal scorer in the league, won personal awards, and suddenly everyone wanted me on their team. If you're currently struggling in soccer or you just want to keep getting better, I want to show you how to go from a chronic underachiever like me to a consistent game changer. I'll show you the key foundational components that I know will help every player if they're tired of feeling irrelevant to their team and want to become the type of player who can make an impact. The first thing you need to do is learn that you are the problem, but you are also the solution. When I quit my college soccer team, I was all alone. My teammates stopped talking to me. My coach was happy I left. There was no practices to challenge me to improve. I had no accountability to anyone. I was all by myself. And in the beginning, it was very dark. But through the darkness, I started to find my light. I wanted to come back and prove everyone wrong. But it was just me. I realized if that was going to happen, I had to do something about it. I recognized that I had become dependent on my team and my coach. If we were not practicing, I was not getting better. And if I wanted to come back and prove everyone wrong, I couldn't do it as the same player I was. It was my responsibility to turn myself into a new type of player. And although that seemed overwhelming at the time, it gave me all my power back. Instead of relying on someone else or waiting for my next practice, I could spend my own time changing myself. I got myself into this situation and I was gonna get myself out of it. So the first lesson I want you to understand is that you are the reason for your problems and you are also the solution. If you are unhappy with your current situation, that is the result of the actions you've taken in the past. If you wanna change your situation, you need to take new actions. If you want your life to become better, you must become someone else. If you remain the same person, you will be stuck in the same situation. Life doesn't change unless we change. So stop expecting things to change if you don't start changing yourself. Take full responsibility for your own development and make a brutally honest review of yourself. When I was at my lowest point, I got real with myself. I started to identify all the areas of my game that needed improvement. I sucked at shooting, I was slow, I was weak. I would give up if things got tough. I finally admitted my weaknesses because that gave me the power to fix them. Players who don't admit their weaknesses can never improve. Finally, I made a commitment and I really want you to do the same, a commitment to never complain or blame other people for my situation. It's not my coach's fault, it's not my teammate's fault, it's not the referee's fault. We need to take ownership because when we stop blaming other people, we take back all our power to improve. When you ask, what can I do to change the situation, you can actually change the situation. Blaming other people gives them all the power. 
you give away all responsibility and you put the direction of your future in someone else's hand. If things are not going your way, recognize that you are the problem. And more importantly, you have the power to make things better because you are the solution. The next lesson I want to share with you is that your mind is your most powerful tool. Too many soccer players think that their feet are what will bring them success, but all of your skills will be wasted if you don't learn to unlock the power of your mind. 